speak out of the way I live But it's a 24 karat dream No supermodel in my dirty jeans But in my 24 inches heels Hi you guys and welcome back to Andrea and Michelle Lifestyle um, You guys today I am going to be sharing with you guys my whole Instacart experience If you guys don't know about Instacart um, It's basically a service where they um, basically go out to a store that you choose and pick up the groceries just in case you can't get out or you're disabled or um, you're sick and you know the whole coronavirus stuff is still out there um, but if you're not feeling safe enough to go out and buy these items from Costco or any store that you choose in your your local neighborhood these Instacart people will definitely go out and get it for you. I had the most amazing experience for my first time um, dealing with Instacart and I am so excited to show you guys and pleased to show you guys what I got. Um, I will show you somewhere in the corner like how much my total and everything was and how you know everything came in and everything was so fresh like the little produce that I got was so fresh. The boxes wasn't bent up or the, the Instacart delivery person wasn't mean or anything throwing my food items or anything like that. So I had a really, really, really nice experience and I did rate them like a five because that's all I could rate them. But if I could rate her a little bit more, I would have rated her a 10 because she went above and beyond for my grocery um at Costco's. Now I've never been to Costco's and I was super excited when I seen that Costco had a delivery option um, on the Instacart app um, and I was just like I gotta get some stuff from Costco's because they have like seriously Costco has more options and the prices are much better than Sam's Choice and then also I didn't want to go ahead and get the membership to Costco's so that's why I opted in to the $9.99 um, membership fee for Instacart and I was just really excited um, they show you like where they are and when they're picking up the groceries when they're inside the stores and they communicate with you back and forth um, and it's just really pleasant to have someone that is trustworthy <laughs> of picking up your groceries like I said all my like my produce that I did get was all fresh and nothing looks ranky dank <laughs> Um, so anyways you guys, I want to go ahead and show you guys what I got from my Instacart um, Costco haul and um, yeah. <laughs> but first, look at Ashley. He didn't made a whole cart out of this Costco box where the food came in. Um, but let's get into the haul, you guys. So first, I want to go ahead and just say I was a little bit confused on this water and how it works. I thought it was the bigger waters and these are the only the eight ounce waters. Um, and there's 80 of the little bottles in here. Um, normally by my son, like these little bottle of waters, cause they're about this big. So I normally buy my son this um, these bottle of waters from like the regular store and have some on stock on him. But I'm not all at, at, at all mad about buying or making a mistake on buying these because I'm gonna probably make another Costco haul um, sometime next week, maybe Monday, and um, buy the original waters because I initially thought that they were gonna be out because they were sending me like little messages letting me know that they may be out because of the whole COVID-19. Um, people are still buying like buying up waters and stuff like that. So I went ahead and just got this one. Um, but I was like confused and I was like where is it's supposed to be 80 bottles of water and I thought that the waters were the big waters and I was just like I'm missing like 40 more waters you guys and I was just like so confused so I called the Instacart driver and she explained to me how that works so I'm really glad that I was able to um, text her and let her let her know what was going on and she um, sent me a message right back and just let me know that it is 80 it they just the mini waters so enough of that <laughs> uh, I did purchase just in case um, they don't find a cure for the whole coronavirus and stuff start popping up I want to be at, like essentially stocked on stuff just in case um, it will happen again but I hope to God that it just keeps dying down um, 
I bought some of the Kirkland um, Rip It Release Pills. These are basically like your normal um, Tylenol. So they're basically compared to the Tylenol. So I went ahead and bought a bigger bottle. For the price of these, um, it, 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 it was like, you know, like awesome because normally I do buy like two bottles of the little bottles. So why not have a bigger bottle of these in the house just in case, you know. Um, and you know, I'm a whole mama out here on the streets. <laughs> Not on the streets, but a whole mama. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, y'all, I just, sometimes I have those headaches, those migraines, and I don't have migraine medication on hand. So these are gonna help me just a little bit with headaches and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna put those up away from the kiddo. Um, so I did get like three types of eggs, so I can't wait to share them with you guys. Like I said, this is my first time ever Actually, that's too much noise, baby. Um, my first time ever, like, ordering from Instacart or ordering from Costco's. Or even, like, knowing that there was a Costco's in Dallas. Um, the one that I know that is, is far away from where I stay at. So, just to have somebody to pick this stuff up was absolutely amazing. Um, so, I bought some of the Kirkland's Cage Free Eggs. Great A large. Um, there's 24 eggs in here. We love eggs, boiled, scrambled, hard fried eggs. You name it, we like it. <laughs> um, except poached eggs. I'm not into that. I don't like wet eggs. <laughs> um, but yeah, I bought a big thing of eggs uh, for us. And then I also got some of the, um, if you see any like little, things that's popping up in the screen it's not my screen it's just the fan going because it's a little hot but um, I bought these three bridges um, spinach and bell pepper eggs and these remind me so much of the Starbucks eggs I used to go to Starbucks and buy up all of their eggs like for real I used to buy them and store them in the refrigerator and they start like some way they start saying like they couldn't make them um, anymore or they weren't wasn't selling them so um, I start I would start looking around I did try to make my own but yeah we ain't gonna say how that went <laughs> but yeah they have the little cups and all you can put in the microwave I hope that you can put these in the stove because I like them in the stove because these have like cheese in them they say fluffy mini muffins shaped eggs whites with spinach bell peppers and a blend of creamy cheeses so I want those edges to get like real crispy and real good oh my gosh um, and then um, I got in the garden lights veggie made great veggie um, egg whites as well these have spinach egg whites and these are basically for tatas made with mozzarella cheese that's like my favorite cheese like my favorite favorite cheese um, and these are gluten free 70 um, calories and cage free eggs and in this box they have 20 frittatas in there um, in this one they have two a piece so two four six eight eight of these um, so yeah these are be really good for like a quick on the go type of um, breakfast for me um, especially when I go back to work you guys I'm still on furlough but soon eventually I will definitely be going back to work so these will be something really good for me to take to work and then I got these dull cherry mix fruits um, for my son he loves fruit and these are I think there's 16 in a box yeah 16 cups in a box so yeah, we got those. So basically there's um, um, pears, apples, or uh, peaches, ch cherries, and pineapple in there. So that's gonna be so good. No, normally sometimes what I do is like drain the cup and, cause it has like so much sugar in the in the syrup part, and just I'll just drain it and wash it and then give it to my son. He likes it like that. And sometimes he'll sneak and grab one and drink the sugary stuff which I don't like but what can I do about that because he's already drunk it um, excuse me pumpkin. Um, for the meats two meats that I got were for the two meats that I got were this organic ground turkey meat and this meat was like 1768 but for these three packages um, it's worth it you can't go to the store and get like um, 
um, big family packs of meats where you can divide them up without like putting them in a Ziploc bag. If that makes any sense, you have to take it out the package and then put it in a Ziploc bag and then that's how you can save it or whatever. But I love the fact that they are all portion sized out and yeah, turkey. And then I also got the Kirkland's um, a sliced oven roasted turkey breast, fully cooked. The one that I initially got was the one that was um, honey roasted, but they were out of that. So I went ahead and opt-in for these three. Um, and then I got these. Um, you can have these definitely like sandwich or on your salads, or you can just eat them with cheese. It's good for a snack, you know. Um, that's Sometimes that's how we eat them. Like for a snack, we'll add cheese and then roll them up and then just have them like that. I'm trying to like do some large, low carb meals and I'm actually doing low carb myself so I won't have to eat so much bread um, and this is for more for like a weight loss um, to get rid of like 30 pounds so I decided to just get some of these because we love turkey and this would be like a great way to uh, a great way to have like a uh, quick and easy snacks. Um, I did find this right here. I don't know how these taste, but these are Sandwich Bros Chicken Melts Flatbread Pockets. And they only are like a 160 calories. And this is what it looks like. It just have like some cheddar cheese, American cheese, chicken, and flatbread. I cannot wait to try these because they are antibiotic, antibiotic free chicken breast. So nothing can go wrong, you know. So I can't wait to try it. And, um have it like for lunch or something like that or you can have it for dinner with some you know fries or like homemade fries um, and then I found some of the Kirkland's uh, unsalted sweet cream cheese butter I've never tried the sweet cream cheese butter but I heard so many amazing things about it um, these are basically just cut in four halves um, so there's four little butters on the side like four little butters so yeah um, I got that and then and then I got some of this Kirkland basil pesto I love pesto and what a great like great herb to go in it which is basil put those two together oh my gosh they're gonna be so good on pasta or some potato salad some basil pesto potato salad with a little bagel bagel a little bacon crisp in there oh my gosh and some onion but anyways, if you guys are interested in me making my basil pesto um, potato salad, please let me know in the comment below. Or if, you, if you're wondering like uh, what we eat during the week, I can do a quick weeknight meal like um, video for you guys and um, let you see that. And then also I got some of the McCormick Gourmet Parsley Flakes. They look so fresh and... I just can't wait to use them. I wish they had like a basil one of these because I would have got like two of those because I love basil and parsley too. And then we got two garlics, two of the Kirkland Minch garlics, California uh, garlic. They already minched. You don't have to like take anything out, break it apart, cut it up, dice it up. <laughs> you have it all in one jar and it's, it's the same garlic as your normal garlic that you will get from the store that all crushed together whatever whatever um, I also got some Taylor Farms big bag of broccoli florets all look so fresh and so delicious and this is already pre-washed ready to enjoy but even though it says it's already it's already washed I will definitely go in and wash it again like I've sanitized everything on this table I have to do that because you definitely want to be safe um, with this virus going around. But this is a 48 ounce three lab package of broccoli. So um, this is the fresh cut broccoli. If you're not into cutting broccoli and like uh, cauliflower, you definitely get it at Costco's already cut. I'm definitely gonna buy some more of this on my next um, my next shopping trip um, because we probably will go through this easily. 
if you want to see me make my roasted broccoli, my roasted broccoli, definitely let me know in the comment section below. If you're loving this video and you made it this far because the vlog is about to end in just a second, um, definitely give me some love hearts, you guys. I love them. They keep me motivated. They keep me uh, making more videos for you guys. And definitely, if you have a um, a comment leave it in the comment section I'll definitely comment to each and every one of you guys on my own <laughs> so um, we come to the romaine and the six hearts of romaine everything looks so super fresh you guys but I use these for like salad you can use them for sandwiches um, you can use them to put the uh, potato salad on top to make it look you know uh, presentable um, you can have it for your spaghetti night salad same thing <laughs> um, on um, uh, Costco's um, on the Costco's website I've seen this um, nice little salad with the romaine I think it was like a Parmesan salad a Caesar salad I'm not into like anchovies and like um, shellfish because I will break out I'm allergic to it um, Lily will probably die <laughs> Um, so I can't have that dressing, but um, and there's no way I can ask them to take that dressing out. So I'm probably gonna make my own, and when I do another, like I said, another Costco haul, um, I'll have the Parmesan cheese to go with this. Um, so yeah, you guys, this is all I got from Costco's, from my Instacart, um, from doing Instacart. And I, I'm really, oh, you guys, I forgot. Uh, I got the Kirkland Signature Organic Hummus, the convenient single serve size. You guys, these, this is what it looks like basically right here. Um, let me take this off so you guys can see. Um, but it look, it's just a little, like, single serving size. Like, if I wanted one or my son wanted one, we can have one, uh, like, to get, like, by ourselves and not have to share. No, most of the time I get my hummus from Trader Joe's, but I don't like when like, I don't know, I don't like double dipping, <laughs> you guys, if that makes any sense. And um, so I'm really excited to get these and see how they taste. Um, most of the time I do put like lemon pepper inside of them and a little bit of oil and just mix it up and it's so, so, so good. Um, but yeah, that is it for the haul, you guys. My son is asking you guys to thumbs up the video make sure you subscribe hit that bell hit that bell and no and, thumbs up. No thumbs and down. yeah no thumbs down <laughs> and also hit that post notification so that you can get all of Andrea and Michelle um, lifestyle videos and thanks for watching you guys bye